these people are losing their wonderful, cozy, awesome beachfront property. And now it's going to just get moved into, we're going to put a bunch of houses right in front of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Movie Town, episode 10. Episode 10, how about that? We made it. Uh, we're almost at 20,000 citizens, but we are losing citizens at the moment. I think we're a little bit stagnant. It's clear we need a little bit of residential. Uh, we have a few complaints we need to take care of early on. Uh, this particular store is complaining there uh, is not enough customers. So that's, that's part of it. Um, and what I'm thinking to alleviate that, I'm actually thinking about connecting this up, having this go over the highway, and just sort of coming around and making a separate area over here with residential, nice on the beach, right? So we're gonna make, we're gonna maybe play with that today. Uh, everything else seems to be good. I mean, I don't really think anybody's complaining too much about it. There's a customer issue over here as well. Um, same sort of issue, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. They can move out if they need to. That's fine. Uh, otherwise, traffic is moving well. Uh, let's speed this up a bit. Traffic is moving well. Uh, I may turn these into two ways. I was thinking about this, and I think these would be better as two-way streets. Uh, to be honest. Now, why did they go abandoned? I don't know. Oh, you know what? That was the one that was complaining about the... That's going to happen. Okay. So let's let's jump right in, though. I think everything else is looking really good. Uh, I just want to double-check education. Okay, so college-wise, we could probably use another college. Even though there's one right there. Doesn't seem to be doing enough. High school seems okay. Uh, elementary school is great. So uh, we're good with all of this. Yeah, this is all fine. I think what we're going to do is add another uh, another college, though. If we can add one. Should we put one? Where should we put this? Uh, where am I putting? Yeah, I'm putting a college. University. They don't like me. Okay. Hold on. How about there? Will that make them happy? Uh, maybe. Okay. They're not changing a lot, but they are going to start to upgrade over there, which is good. Uh, and college is a bit of an issue over here as well, but I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to let Streep Streets be what Streep Streets wants to be, which is an adult community. Okay. Again with that problem. Let's let's do this. Let's uh, let's jump right into expanding our roads here. Uh, I want this to continue over. This road here, which is a two-way, I'm going to want this to continue over. It's going to come this way. And then it's going to go up. Up and over. Oh, I made it too close to begin with. Look at this. Already with the mistakes. It's okay, though. Toy pencil seven. Oh, that guy just made it. Toy pencil seven racers. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this again. Have this come out. Uh, I want it up. I'm gonna go up. That are you. Okay, we're gonna go up, over, and down. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, now from here, back up a little bit. I'm gonna make a community that comes right out onto the beach area, just skimming along this coast here. We're gonna have some sort of coastal property. I think I can put houses right up on here, but for now we're gonna make this some nice coastal property. So we're gonna come around uh, and maybe do something like this. For some reason those cars are just like dying to come down uh, already even though there's nothing here for them. Uh, so let's do this. Let's come around like this. Just sort of slink this down the coast like this. Uh, and can we connect it? Should we connect it back up? I think we should. Kind of come over here and connect it up here. Look at that. Now, we're not going to put any residential here, so don't worry about that. But we are going to make this sort of a separate community, um, which is going to have the sort of structure of some of my other communities on the other side. But this is really just a, it's a special area. This is for the, the elitist uh, former movie stars and those who can afford to live like a movie star type people. This is their own special private beach here as well. So, uh, so what we're going to do, actually, we're going to put... It's going to be interesting. We're going to mix it up. We're going to put some regular sort of residential here. Um, because I'm going to imagine, like, they have beachfront property, you know? Wow, the garbage truck's going nuts over here. Um, so we're going to do like this. Just the ones that are right on the coast. So they're going to be a little bit smaller houses. All right, just like that. Just these, right? And then, on top of that... We're going to put these high-density residential, right? And this is going to allow them to look right over and still have beachfront viewing property, which is really what we want for our citizens. 
Okay, so we're gonna put this in here like this. We're gonna let that fill up a little bit. Let's do. Let's deal with our power. Which we are going to, I guess, just run a power line not like this for now. That's fine. It's all gonna fill up here in a second. Uh, and water. Of course, we're gonna need water. So let's start with this. Come around. Coming down. Cut back through. Would that be enough? Uh, space already occupied. Oh, I can't. Can I not go? Can I? Why did that stop me? I don't know. Uh, that should cover everything. I think even this will be covered, but we'll we'll keep an eye on that. No worries. All right. So now residential starting to come in there. Yeah. See what they're doing? For some reason, they're planting trees on the sand. I don't know how they're pulling that off, but that's okay. They have this really awesome beachfront property, and these people are going to be able to look right over them. Now I'm going to put in uh, some more of this high density residential over here, and we'll add a few schools and things. Make this separate area really nice. Really something special. Hopefully, they'll be able to work out a way for all of these to have uh, sort of ocean view, or at least river view, property here, without without really having to sacrifice too much in terms of the the view. You really want all of these to have a, at least a partial view, so you get the most bang for your buck when you're developing. Um, and that should help this over here. They're going to need these stores to sort of survive. Um, so people can come over like that, and they can go in here. I am going to make all of these two ways. Let's do that right now so that this gets a little bit a little bit better uh, coverage. I noticed that when we put our firehouse down last time, the coverage was absolutely atrocious because... I still want one way on the sides, though. Because uh, the fire trucks would have to go through the entire area to get to some houses, that even though they were like, like some of these commercial uh, things here, or you know, whatever, high density, uh, industrial. Fire trucks would have to go down here and come all the way, like, back around to get down this block and stuff like that. So, we're gonna make sure that all of this gets upgraded. So that we don't have to worry about that anymore. Originally, I had done it that way because I was kind of feeling like it might be a good idea to keep traffic flowing separately through here, but I don't think this is gonna be such a big area that it's gonna really matter, frankly. Um... Do we need more residential? Let's throw out just a few more of these little ones in here. Uh, I think we can start to kill some of our power lines. I'll throw some of these in here as well. Some more of the high density stuff right here. Okay, that'll be good. Um, okay, and some more here. This is going to be great. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And actually a little bit more here and here. I don't think people are going to want to live here really. Now, uh, we don't need all of these power lines anymore. I think I want to connect this up, actually, so that once that's connected, we're good. I'm going to throw a few small... Oh, no, these are already... Yeah, these should connect up anyway. I'm going to throw a few smaller sort of commercial zones here so that if they need to rent, like, a video, like a VHS, they have the opportunity to do that instead of having to buy, like, a whole... Do a whole thing. Okay. Uh, and all of that's connected up. Fantastic. So now we can get rid of these power lines and really allow people to take in their vision, take in their, their beautiful view that they have fought so hard for. I am having a disease problem of some sort, I guess. Why are people dying? All right, well, I did put this out. Uh, I didn't know, I didn't actually put this out while you were watching, but I replaced my outflow pipes with uh, water treatment plants. Maybe I don't have enough of them. Uh... Incineration status? I don't know what this arrow is. What is this arrow? What's 28%? Is that incineration? Because that seems to be here. Cemetery usage, landfill usage, um, power is a problem once again. Why is power a problem over here? What the heck? Alright, I guess somebody moved out, actually. Let's do this. Alright, we seem to be having a bit of a panic on our hands. What is happening here? Is the cemetery full or something? Do I need another cemetery? Alright, everybody just calm down. Calm down. Cemetery does not fall under trash. Um, we just probably don't have enough, frankly. We have one here. It's full. Okay. I see. So we're going to put another one. And we'll start... Actually, should we do some incinerators? Maybe we'll do some incinerators. We'll put one here. Put some uh, out here. Maybe one here in DiCaprio corner. Maybe we'll put one... I mean, we're going to need one in De Niro. Because that's, again, sort of 
an elderly area. Um, so we're going to put one there, we're going to put one here. And we'll put one in here as well. Right there. That should cover them. I think we should be okay. Nobody's covering this. I really shouldn't have to put a crematorium in sort of this visiting area. And yet, that's exactly what they want me to do. Seems I might need one over here as well. Uh, water is an issue down here for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to throw this crematorium in here. Uh, where should I put it? Out here? I don't want to use, like, really nice property for it. So we're going to put it there. Um, water. Water, water, water. Okay. Apparently that's an issue. Okay, we got it. Yeah, uh, that works, I think. Uh, I think these guys can use this uh, crematorium as well. So hopefully that'll clear things up a bit. I mean, there is a lot of dead bodies going on right now. Uh, landfill usage is not good. Uh, is it good, actually? Maybe it is good. I don't know. I'm getting a little... Building is emptying. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this building is still emptying. That's fine. Uh, what exactly is the problem here? I'm going to close this and open this again. It looks like it's maybe screwing up landfill usage, and I don't really know. So let's let's just take another look at this. Uh, which one of these is landfill usage? Uh, well, trash. Okay, so incineration status looks good. Usage is good. It's not a trash issue. So is it a health issue? Health is good. Death care, not so much. Our cemetery usage is almost full. Crematoriums, there's plenty of them, but I need a few more cemeteries, clearly. So that's what we're going to do. I have some over there. Should I put a cemetery over here? It's a weird place for one. And yet, I think they need one, so I'm going to throw it there. I'm going to set the other one to empty, I think. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. So now, we can empty that to a crematorium, which is interesting <laughs> and really disturbing. Uh, and we're going to add another cemetery here somewhere. Where? Where do we want to add it? We'll add one right out here. Mm, I don't know, actually. Is, is dead still a problem, or did it actually clear up? I don't want to do too much more. No, actually, cleared up. We're good. We're good. How's our water? Water is great. Treatment is great. Everything's great. We're great. Everything's great. All right, so we have this over here. Um, this is sort of our uh, Miami Vice area. So we're going to name it right here from here on out. This whole area here and right down to the coast as well. This is going to be not the Pearl District. This is going to be our Miami Vice area. Okay. I don't actually want to read anything you're saying. I'm just trying to get rid of this. Can you let me close that? Can I close it? Okay, good. All right, so this is our Miami Vice area. Uh, Michael Scott Office Park over here. I couldn't remember the name of Michael. <laughs> but I remember it now, so we're good. Um, we need some parks. This is really nice for, for an area like this. We're going to put in one of those right there, which will cover them. We're going to put in a nice... What, what would look good near the beach, actually? Do we want another baseball team to play against our, our previous baseball team? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, how about a... Hmm... I don't really know, actually. I could put a bunch of trees, but I don't think I want to do that. What if we throw in a... Let's use this guy. We haven't used this guy yet. Let's throw him in here. He's, he's going to go out right on the coast? No, right here. That's where... Oh, I didn't mean to kill that house. I apologize to whoever lived there formerly. Uh, would it be cool to have a baseball field like right out here on the beach? That would be pretty cool. Let's save that, actually. We need something small. A carousel right on the beach. That'd be cool, too. I don't have a lot of space over here. It's a bit of an issue. Uh, I need another, maybe, like... I don't want a large playground. Park with trees? Huge. Absolutely huge park with trees. We don't want that either. We need a, more of a, a small park. I don't want a plaza. This'll do. This'll be great. Okay, so this'll go... Where will this fit? Will it fit here? No? Will it fit here? Here? Over here? Somewhere around here? I actually want it on this side. Uh, anywhere. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the park that's front. So this is for those people who actually don't have visual access to the beach. They can hang out in this park, and actually it won't cost them a dime, which is great. Alright, what do we need? We need more residential. They're just dying for residential, and, and 
I'm going to give it to him, frankly. Uh, I didn't give it to him. I didn't give it to them at all. I gave them the wrong thing. Son of a gun. Alright, here we go. Try that again. All of this is going to be high-density residential area. Uh, this Miami Vice area is very, very... I mean, you can't get in here unless someone you knew already owned it before it was built. Like, someone had land bought for 20 years before they actually built. You can't just move in. Not available for you at all. Um, so, the people who live there want very little to do with everyone else. So we're trying to make them as self-sufficient as possible. Uh, we don't want them to be upset. A lot of these people, too, are going to be working. You know, despite the fact that that's not really what they want to be doing. They want to be over here most of the time. We're going to let them work close. And even these offices here might, might work out very well um, to have... I'm going to do... Should I do, like, another plaza with trees? Maybe over here? That might be nice, but I don't think it's in the right spot. I think over here is a good spot. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, fire coverage. I mean, I should have a bunch. This is a big firehouse, but maybe it's just too far away. I think I'm going to put a small firehouse. Oh, that's a perfect spot for it, huh? Nice. And that should take care of that. Uh, police, still not an issue. Our police department's doing a wonderful job. They're going to need their own little elementary school, I think. So we're going to put one of those in as well. We'll put it... Oh, you know what? These power lines. There's power lines over here that are killing me. i got to get rid of them. We don't need these power lines, because we just connected everything up with the grid on the other end. Uh, is there more power lines? I can't tell. Uh, yes, there is. We don't need any of that. So let's get rid of all these power lines carefully without killing anything. Uh, any more power lines? No, we're good, because this thing is right here. Now, this thing is major noisy, and that might be a problem for some people. Uh, not enough workers for the convenience store. I understand that, which is why you have some of this regular residential, but these people are not interested in really putting in a hard day's work. Um, so that is going to be an issue, I'm afraid. Uh, we can do an elementary school. Let's do it here. That'll take care of them. It also seems to service some people. Apparently there are some kids working in the office park. Um, it's not really very good. If, uh, if someone finds out about that, it may be against the law and they may get in trouble. Then the university. Should I throw another, like, small sort of community college over here? I think I'll do that. What the heck? Let's do it. Does that have water over there? Yeah. Okay, so that'll help that too. This is going to start blowing up here. Let's see what these people need in order to really raise their interest. They're looking for education. I mean, I already put a bunch of education, so complaining about that is fruitful. It's futile, I should say. Educate more citizens to allow the building to be upgraded. I know. Well, I... I what? what? You have your own elementary school, high school, and college for crying out loud. What else could you possibly need? What else could they need? All right, here's what's going to happen now. And this is really... It's really going to piss some people off. You see these people here who have a beautiful beach front view? Well, it turns out that some very, very rich investors decided... We would like to put houses a little closer to the coast. So guess what? These people are losing their wonderful, cozy, awesome beachfront property. And now it's going to just get moved into, we're going to put a bunch of houses right in front of them. And that's just the way it goes. But the thing that the investors don't know is that, and this is between me and you, so don't tell them, uh, as far as they're concerned, they have this area now, but I can just as easily turn around and sell this off from them too, so. And I will, too. That's definitely gonna happen. That way. Come on. Can I do a straight shot? Let's see if we can do a straight shot from here. Okay, we're gonna try to connect there. Oh, because there's a park there. Damn. That's where the park is. That's where the park is. I gotta move that park. Just a little bit. Already we're moving the park. Good, good news is you can just take a park and move it, which is insane. So all those people get angry for about 10 seconds, and then they look up, and the park's back, and they're completely happy again. All right, so we're going to throw in some, uh, some really pricey housing in here. These people now, I mean, they're going to be pissed. I mean, they're really going to just be out of their minds angry. But that's sort of life for them, I guess. Let's get some water on here. 
I like that guy just drove through here, and he was like, he lives in one of these other houses, of course, that are now losing their beachfront property. And so he's driving through, just checking out, and like, he's like, oh, they're constructing, oh, oh my gosh, we're going to lose our, our riverfront property, which right now it's a polluted river, but it is definitely going to be taken care of. This is going to cut down on the pollution quite a bit.